What's going on? This your boy Eskino Fly back with another random video. And I want to actually talk about a video that if I don't talk about it right now, it's, it's going to leave my mind. But I was just watching a video on a YouTuber named Some Black Guy. A YouTuber named Some Black Guy who, even though I'm not subscribed to him, I do watch a lot of his videos. And. He considers himself as a radical centralist, centralist uh, I believe that's what he says, radical centralist, which is really smart because I also like to see both sides of the story before I just jump to conclusions. I like to like at least try to do some research before I state an opinion. And even if I see something like um, hot off the presses, I like at least wait till I get an opinion before I hear stuff out of it. Um... So, uh, uh, YouTube recommended a video that he pulled up. 23 ways you could be killed if you are black in America response. So, basically, he's responding to a video. Basically, 23 ways you can kill. And he's basically debunking a lot of uh, the people's death. And if they caused it or if, you know, the cops has caused it or, it, you know, I think he was. I think the way he took the video is they're trying to prove that the cops are racist and all that, which it could be. He could. Here's the thing: is he could be right, he could be wrong. But I feel like most of these stuff that he tried to debunk is really reaching. Or I don't want to, cause I don't want to call him a coon, cause I hate the word coon, because some people don't know any coon. And this is not to really start YouTube beef, but I think he's kind of reaching on majority of the topics that the celebrities pull out. Like, the first thing that comes to my mind is Philando Castile. And Philando Castile, anybody know Philando Castile? He was the one that got shot in the car because... He got shot in the car trying to uh, get his ID, and he told the officer that he had a gun. And the reason why I say he was reaching on that because he said that there was also uh, there was like also news that he had the gun on his lap, which that's new to me because when you look at the because I don't know this before the dash cam the police dash cam video, but you can actually hear the police. Him saying, I have a, just letting you know, I do have a registered firearm. And he tells you that this is the firearm. And he says, don't, and he says, the cop says, don't pull it out. Which basically he means it's not, couldn't be on his lap if the cop's saying, don't pull it out. And you can hear Philando saying, I'm not pulling the gun out. I'm getting my wallet, you know, just like you saying. So I felt like that was one of the things he was reaching on. Um, another one was the Eric Garner case. Now, the thing about the Eric Garner case to me is that a lot of people say he was, you know, killed for selling cigarettes. Now, the way I remember the video, because I've looked at that at least hundreds of times, I don't think he was killed for selling cigarettes. Now, if I can remember, he was going to court because he was selling cigarettes. But at the time that video was shot, he was breaking up a fight, which he just break up the fight. And I guess the cops would come and guess they was harassing him. Now, I don't know if he was selling cigarettes. Now, that one, I don't know if he was selling cigarettes or not. But at the same time, I still feel like it was a reach because he was like, oh, all of a sudden he killed an asthma attack, which he does have asthma. But he was telling the cops, I can't breathe. The cops had him subdued. The cops could have got off from him, but they didn't. So, I now, either the cops was racing or not, it was just bad policing. Now, the way I think of this 23 things, um, first off, the way I think of this 23 things, you could be killed in black in America. I don't think it's like it's calling cops racist, but these things happen. And, like, and they happen to black people. Now, I'm pretty sure if he ever sees this, which I doubt he won't, 
Um, there's gonna be talk. You, you probably pull up some stats about you know more whites being killed and all that other stuff, which just proves my point that it's not really about you know racism, it's about policing being. To me, it's about if you ask me, policing has been very very bad. Um, there were other ones he was talking about, like. Tamir Rice, that was another one. Um, when I saw that video, the cop didn't come to a complete stop. And if I, I might have to look at the video again before I say nothing. But I don't even think the kid was even pointing the fake gun at the at the cop. Now, be mindful. Yeah, I don't play with guns either. I take guns very seriously. So he has a point on that, you know. His mom used to take guns seriously, you know. You know, people, probably be one of the people have a fake gun. That I do agree with. You don't need to be. Uh, if you know cops are trigger happy, I wouldn't be fucking with fake guns, let alone being with a real gun. But the kid was twelve. The cops didn't even come to a complete stop. That right there bothered me, if anything. Like the door barely opened. I'm pretty sure the windows were down. And he shot out the window. He could have at least said. Now he could have at least. Got out the car. If he's going to pull a gun out. He didn't have to shoot him. You know like. But he could have said. You know. The way that was handled. Is just so. So bad to me. And it was just like. It could have been done so much better. Um, There's other ones like. Alton Sterling. Um, that was another one because he obviously did have CDs and he was trying to sell his CDs and yes, he did. Even though he did have a gun in his pants pocket, they subdued him. It's not like he pulled it out. They had him down on the ground. All of a sudden he had, they had him down on the ground. His hands was behind his back. There was no way he could have reached for his gun when they saw he had a gun. Or when they saw a gun, they then shot it on his back. And then they pulled the gun out of his pocket. That's, that right there is just like, now, if you thought he was doing something else, it was never stated. Now, shouldn't he have a gun? No, he was on probation and parole. No, but at the same time, that man shouldn't have lost his life. And I guess that's another problem why I had. Like, shouldn't he have a gun? No. But at the same time, it shouldn't have escalated to that part. And I think the cops escalated. And I think with most of these, and then when you hear these stories, it's just like cops are escalating. And most of these black people, we don't know how to handle cops. Even when you tell us yes, sir, no, sir, um, we're scared. We're like, I don't want to go to jail for nothing. It's like something I've seen people like I know I've been I've had some runs in with some cops this this time where I know a cop done tried to push it to make it seem like he's innocent. He'll push it enough to make it seem like he's innocent that if I had a court attitude, I'd be in jail. But, you know, I've always kept my calm and my parents never had to teach me, you know, what to do with the cops. Um, I haven't had that talk. I know what to do. I generally know what to do with the cops because, one, I don't want to go to jail. And, two, you know, I follow the law as uh, as well as I can, at least. Um, another one I think he was reaching for was Sean Bell one because um, the undercover cop thought that, you know, there was some prostitution going on. And he heard. And I'm using a quotation where he heard someone say, go get my gun. Or he assumed that someone said, get my gun. So that one right there, I also think is a reach because I feel I feel like cops will fabricate a story to make it seem like they way and uh, seem like uh, they're the innocent one out of all of them. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure he didn't have a gun on him. I'm pretty sure he didn't have a gun on him. Now. If he did, I never heard of one. Now I can. I'm gonna just now. Most of these, a lot of these, I'm gonna go look back again because I could probably be wrong too. Now, but that one, it just 
really seems like he was reaching on that. And I think the moral of the story is, it's good to be here. And I like some black guy. I'm not even going to like um, front. I actually like some of his context because I think some of the context he is speaking the truth. And even though I don't agree with everything he says, but, you know, there's some things, you know, we could agree to disagree with. Now, also, and I've done this a lot, trying to see both sides of the story, even though this is the problem with people like us. Even though we try to see both sides of the story, we're trying to make up stuff that, you know, probably either never happen or it might be out of the blue. So it could, because we're trying to make human beings out of the, out of a piece of shit. And that's the main problem with someone that's a radical centrist or someone that sees both sides of the story. Um... And now, he didn't talk about Michael Brown, but I have also want to say this because I hear a lot of people, you know, try to disparage because, you know, the forensics said that he he walked up to the cop, he reached in, tried to grab the gun from the cop, and that's how he got his, that's how he got shot. This is not the hands up, don't shoot things. Now, I don't believe I'm going to tell you one thing. I don't believe that because forensics work with the cops. Of course, like, if a forensic person worked with the cops, they're going to try to persuade the cops. Second of all, I believe Mike Brown was like six. He's a six foot, he's a six foot black guy. He's a big guy. You mean to tell me he walked up to your car and he, I don't, okay. He walked up to your car. He put his whole body in the car and tried to take your gun. Does that sound does that does that make sense? Why would any kid do that? Like, you gotta be a brave motherfucker to do that. I don't I that's just me. You gotta be a brave or stupid motherfucker to do that. First off, you don't even know Darren Darren Wilson was left handed or right handed. You mean it to, and for that, I, when I was in the Navy, I worked in security. Now, we had guns, you know, we had to um, qualify to shoot for guns. They gave us holsters. Now, some holsters you could just straight pull out, but there's a couple holsters where you have to press a button to pull the, to pull the gun out. If you try to pull the gun out without pressing that button, that gun would not budge. Now, I don't know what type of hostess uh, Darren Wilson had, but I guarantee he had one where you have to press a button to pull the gun out if you want to attempt to shoot anybody. I'm not believing that a black man who's mostly black people are scared of cops and not going to do anything. Now, this is like, and I'm not going to lie, this is me assuming. I, I just don't believe that somebody would just walk up into a cop car Put his whole body through a window. Reach in. And if you're right-handed, he has to reach over his body to get the gun. And try to pull the gun out. You tell... You know... I'm sorry. There's things that you just don't believe. Even if they tell you. That one, I do not believe it at all. So... Some black guy, if you randomly see this video, because this is kind of rambling too long, and I don't want to ramble long enough, I'm, this is not to start YouTube beef, but, you know, this was just random, it was on my mind, and I don't know, it just got me, I don't want to say it got me in my feelings, but it made me feel a type of way, I guess, um, I just thought you was reaching for most of these, and, uh, I don't know. It's like we can agree. No, we can agree to disagree. You might never, see, you might never, ever see this video, but just some things that I just can't believe, and I don't know. Well, anyway, this is Oskino Fly, and I'm signing out. Peace. Cause I be doing what I want cause ain't no strings attached to see him Hide the kite or bird or plane